வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே மீண்டும் ஒரு வீடியோ சந்திப்பதில் மகிழ்ச்சி ஸோ இன்னைக்கு வீடியோவில் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸோட கண்டினியூஷன் தான் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஸோ லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தென் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸில் தென் ஸ்டாட்டிக் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ்லேருந்து சம் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஷின் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணோம் ஸோ அதை பார்க்காத நண்பர்கள் அதுக்கான லிங்க் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷனும் கொடுக்குறேன் அதையும் பார்த்துருங்க ஸோ கண்டினியூஷன் இருந்தால் தான் புரியும் ஸோ இன்றைக்கி தென் டிரான்சிஸ்டர் ஆஸ் ஆம்பிளிஃபையர் அண்ட் ஆசுலேட்டாஸ் ஓகே ஸோ தென் கொஷின் நம்பர் ஒன் in a transistor amplifier the purpose of biasing edhukku biasing use pandranga transistor amplifier la the correct option is then bias uh, fixing the operating point for linear operation appo option b is correct so question number 2 then which configuration gives highest voltage gain So, we will see the CB, then uh, CE, the then CE, voltage C, gain. then CE as the highest voltage gain. So, then option B is correct. Then question number 3, the common emitter amplifier is also called as, then common emitter is also called as emitter follower. because due to it should be unity voltage gain up the answer c is correct c equal to the emitter follower so then question number 4 for faithful amplifier the q point sometimes they should be asked like that uh, related about the q point so uh, should locate at uh, the correct option will be then uh, middle of the load line uh, that ensure the maximum undistorted output appo the correct option will be then middle of the line where is that middle though here sell the keyword so option d is correct okay so in c configuration the phase difference between input and output Uh, what is that the difference between input and output for ce configuration kekranga appo which one is correct then ce that should be a common emitter okay then common emitter uh, produced uh, only the phase difference at uh, zero that should be c answer 180 degree okay 180 degree la then common emitter amplifier uh, produce a difference between the input and output okay so then question number 6 the basic condition for oscillator according to the bakken criterion is the correct option is is repeated on a question okay uh, there should be option a is correct so idile moonu question irukke 1 2 and 3 okay so question number 7 the colpet oscillator uses uh, simple one Uh, variety uses uh, basic one then culpet uses is a capacitive feedback so they may sometimes inge vande culpet badile there should be a hotly oscillator kudukalam okay for question number 8 in rc phase shift oscillator the phase shift network produced then rc network nale namalukku naabagam vandano it should be a uh, it provide only the 180 degree phase shift okay appo the transistor add another 180 degree appo the correct option will be 180 degree shift okay appo we have to remember that uh, in rc network provided 180 shift and the transistor add another 1 180 shift that is 180 degree okay question number 9 the frequency of oscillator in lc oscillator is primarily determined by uh, that should be lc up easily that should be answer will be uh, given in the question itself okay the lc tank circuit sets only the oscillation frequency okay option b is right Question number 10, a transistor amplifies power gain is equal to, transistor amplifier la power gain which is equal to, eppa which is equal to varguno, then power gain which is equal to, then voltage gain, 
uh, voltage gain into current gain. The option B is correct. So question number 12. In a hotly oscillator, the feedback is obtained from uh, you don't confuse it hardly oscillator but that feedback is there should be a inductance uh, which one is correct answer there should be a tab inductor okay that should be inductance option b is correct so question number 12 the distortion in an amplifier can be minimized by only by using negative feedback only we have to minimize okay distortion in the amplifier okay so the negative feedback reduced distortion and also uh, stabilized gain sometimes there should be a, like this uh, four option could the day uh, which one is a stabilized gain get along the negative feedback okay so these are all the expecting question from transistor amplifier and oscillator so the next video we have to discuss with it some of the uh, topics okay thank you don't forget like this video and subscribe our channel for further update thank you